Hey guys, Hammer here. Thanks for clicking on. Uh, we had quite a bit of rain around out here this morning, but looks like uh, it's pretty well cleared out. We're going to have us a nice afternoon, so uh, I'm going to go down and meet up with Steve. We're going to take a ride. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to get into uh, Howard Park today. We'll see how crowded it is. Uh, with all the rain that was around this morning, it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, I've got the, gam the GoPro, I've got my handheld camera, and I've got my drone. So. Uh, Let's get this thing going. Roll the intro. All right, guys, so uh, I caught up with Steve today and uh, we're out tooling around. We just showed up here at Fred Howard Park. Um, we stopped back at the, the bar called The Bridge over in Tarpon Springs. We ran into Moto Geek there and uh, had the bullshit with him for a little bit. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a ride out to Fred Howard Park here. I wanted to show you guys this park a couple of weeks ago, but uh, didn't get the opportunity. So I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna try to get the drone up and uh, see if I can get a little bit of footage uh, all while I'm uh, avoiding people, obviously. Um, but this is a pretty nice park here, Fred Howard Park. Uh, we're gonna drive over a causeway. It's gonna bring us out over the water to basically uh, an island. Which is... And uh, there's the park out there, you can see it. Beautiful out here. I don't like speed bumps. but I think the drone will be okay. As long as I don't run into one of these seagulls. That might ruin my whole day. last time I was out here but I haven't been out here in God probably two or three years I think it's been a while working out in the Sun uh, being a, a framer and then a roofer I did not used to enjoy spending my leisure time hanging out in the Sun um, when you work out in the sun all day, being out in the sun on your weekends is the last place you want to be, that's for sure. But now things are a little different. Um, my job now, I'm, I'm inside uh, the shade or my truck quite a bit. So uh, I don't actually physically work out in the sun now. So, certainly much better. handed Steve a ticket. I don't know if we got to pay to get in here now. We didn't used to have to. And I'd rather not. I mean, I'll stop right over here and I'll drone, I'll drone from the side of the road here. Uh, so we'll just 
just kind of loop through and see what's going on here. I'm back um, it got pretty hot out there today so we ended up uh, having a pretty good day um, I was asked to stop droning at the park uh, one of the park rangers came up and told me the county has an ordinance there's no droning here fucking bullshit um, but anyway it's what it is so uh, I had to stop droning but I got a little bit of footage um, so as you can tell so so it was good, had a good day, and I uh, got to see Moto Geek, that was pretty cool, uh, glad he's doing well, and, uh, and that's it. Um, as I'm sure you know, and I'm sure you've seen my other shirts, but we're all Patriots fans, uh, I've got a nephew that apparently this morning, or yesterday possibly, he was at the uh, New England Patriots uh, Hall of Fame, and uh, he sent me a picture of um, a chopper that was built for Adam Vinatieri. I'll put it up right here. Pretty nice, huh? Um, so I guess that bike was donated by Adam to the hall, which was auctioned off. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check and see how much they got, but I forget what Rick said. Uh, it was quite a bit of money, hundred and something thousand dollars. And then uh, the owner who bought the bike, who won the auction, wanted to remain anonymous and donated it back to the Hall of Fame. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. So anyway, uh, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, share this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Helps us out. So that's it for now. Y'all be safe out there. I'm Hammer. I'm out.